We're in Ghana meeting the gifted animators who've just signed a deal with Amazon Prime. But how easy is it for Africans to break into the international entertainment industry? Now, the likes of Disney, Pixar and DreamWorks are the undeniable heavyweights of animation. But now an African player has entered the ring. Ghana-based Animax FYB has just secured one of its productions, a slot on Amazon Prime. Meet Mofra, an online educational and entertainment platform created and produced in Ghana. The name means children in Akan, one of Ghana's widely spoken languages. And as it suggests, the channel is aimed at kids aged 2 to 14. Francis Yeshua Brown set up Animax FYB in Accra six years ago. Mofra represents his breakthrough. In just three months, Mofra could rake in one million US dollars, something the studio head is rightly proud of. The Amazon Prime deal is a huge one for me because, and not just me, but I would say a huge one for Africa, because this is the first time that we have an independent content being uh, produced and also distributed onto such a platform. Animax has 10 employees. The company has grown without state support or funding from private investors. Mofra's content sees the world from an African perspective. Two-year-old Jada Ivory is a fan. So is her mother. I think in a way we were losing our culture and our identity a bit because most of the things that our kids are watching are not from uh, this continent or on this country. So they are picking cues from other countries which might not necessarily be relevant to the co community and society in which we live in. So definitely this is a need that we, 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 we have to all support in one way or the other. Francis Yeshua Brown certainly hopes that his animation studio will one day close ranks with the leading US studios.